Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. In this video, we are going to start with our practical number 10. We have already covered practical no number 1 to practical number 9. I have created Azure Data Engineering playlist where we are uploading based on the real time use case. Okay, so let us start with the today's business use case. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how actually we can pass dynamically uh, source and the sync location. Okay, so suppose we have one of the business use case, we have a data available into a SQL database and there are so many data, so many tables are there in a SQL database and we want to copy this data from SQL database to a blob storage into a CSV format. Okay, so for that actually normally we do by using a copy data activity that actually we have already seen. So from one table to one, to one blob storage we were actually passing we were giving manually the location and it was doing the copy but now in this case what actually we are going to do we are going to parameterize uh, this location like while doing the runtime only we will be having one pipeline and this one pipeline should be able to handle all the table which need to be transmitted from this SQL database to other blob storage. So that parameter actually we are going to pass while runtime. Okay, so that actually we are going to see. Let me open my SQL. So this is my Azure Data Factory. Okay, let me show you uh, what actually we are going to do. Now if you will see, so th these are my tables which are available. Okay. So we have a dbo.build version, error log, address table, customer table, customer address table, product table. So this, this so many tables are available. Now we should transfer this data from this table to a blob storage. Okay, as of now in a blob storage, I have created only one location. Okay, this is the one location I have created. Let me quickly create one more container. Okay, I am giving as a new one. Okay. As of now, this new and new one, this both are empty. Okay. And we have uh, so many table you can see. Now what actually we are going to do, we are going to create a pipeline which should be able to transmit the data from a SQL database to a blob storage, but in a dynamically. Okay. So let's see how we can do it. So click on the new pipeline, click on the copy data. Okay. For the source. First, we have to create a data set, right? So, our source is the SQL database. Go to the SQL database. Click on the continue. Now, let's try to create a connection. Click on the new connection. Click on the subscription. Click on the server name. Select your database name, okay? My database name is this one. Now, as authentication, you have to give. So I am passing a username and we have to give the password. Okay. Now let's try to check the connection. Okay. Click on the create. Once you will click on the create, you can see there is an option like to select the table name. So these are the table which is now available. Previously, what actually we were doing, we were actually selecting this table name and based on the table, actually we were performing a copy activity. But this table should be passed through a parameter so that in a runtime itself only we are able to select this table name. Okay, so that is how actually we are going to do. For that, what we will do, as of now, I am not selecting any table name. I am just clicking on the OK. Okay, now if we will go to this data set, here we have an option, go to this data set. Now there is one option like the parameter, click on this parameter, click on the new, now give the table name or I will just give as a table. So this is a parameter which I have passed, okay. Uh, now that's it. Now if you will go to the pipeline, if you will go to the source, here actually it is asking like the table and we have to pass the value. But what actually we are going to do, we are going to pass this table name as a dynamic, right. Click on this add dynamic content okay okay so before that we have to uh, do one more thing okay so as of now uh, if i will just click randomly outside so you can see we have one more option like parameter click on this parameter 
just select the table okay so this is a parameter which i have passed okay as of now value i am not passing now click on this copy data okay now click on this table and the value add dynamic content now if you can see the parameter it is showing table right just click here only one time if you will click automatically it is passing the parameter okay now click on the okay now the source data set if you click open here also uh, there is one option like edit click on this edit uh, this is space is for your uh, uh, database and this is for your table name so the table name only i want to pass a dynamic bit, right so i will just select the table here also okay and if you, if i go here if i will see my uh, database name is sales lt okay this sales lt is my the database name and the table name is product okay so what i am going to do i am just selecting table uh, database name is sales lt and this table name i will pass dynamically okay okay yeah so uh, these are the things we have to do now after doing this go to this pipeline okay what are the things we have done okay so let me recap go to the data set in a parameter option you have to give the table and you, uh, you just have to create the table name which we are going to pass now go to the pipeline just click randomly outside here also we have created one table and this also is blank now in a copy data just click on that in a table name these are the table which we are going to pass so this is the dynamically we will pass okay so here and after after that click on this open and this is the value which we are going to pass okay in a sql table also now let's go to the pipeline uh, now let's go to the, let's try to publish or let's see if any error so there is one error is coming okay now we have to debug that because the sync also we haven't configured so sync is also required so let's try to first complete our pipeline then we will publish click on the sync click on the new where we want to save we want to save in the blob storage click here click on the csv as a csv we want to save now click on the uh, new link service okay the blob storage is fine click on the subscription click on the blob storage and click on the create so in a sync also previously we were selecting this path as a dynamically right we were actually clicking here and where actually we want to see we were actually selecting manually but now actually we are going to do it based on the dynamically parameterized so just click ok now this is the my uh, data set just click here click on the parameter the location actually i want to pass manually click on the location once you will do go to the pipeline okay go to the sync in the location actually this thing we are going to pass a uh, dynamically right so for that just click outside click new pass location okay now click on this copy data in a sync if you will click here click on the add dynamic content now this is the location we are going to pass so just click on this location this will come automatically okay now these things are now ready okay now click on the publish all there is one error which we are going to debug it okay it is showing like validation copy con copy data one container is required okay so actually it is asking like uh, which container and all okay so uh, click on uh, if you will go here blob storage okay on which container actually we want to save right and that is the thing if we go to the sync click on the open and uh, this is the container which we have to pass it dynamically so just click on the location click on the ok now go to the pipeline click on the publish and uh, now it is still asking like container is required let's wait and let's see go to the sync location we have passed it here click here container and uh, directory let's try to see uh, 
this is the okay okay so what actually we have done the this is this is for the container right so it should in a container it should come the path click okay now click on the publish now these things are now ready okay now it is publishing so what actually we are going we have done it we have created a parameter so th this value should come while, while whenever we will run we, it should ask like where actually you want to save similarly in a source it should ask which table you want to copy okay so that is the thing let me show you how actually it works okay now if i will try to run this add trigger trigger now it is asking me which table and which location you want to save now here actually whenever you will run this information it will ask so whenever you will pass uh, so suppose you have a requirement right you want to transmit the product uh, table into a blob storage one location so for that you will create a copy copy data activity and you will do now second time suppose it will ask like uh, now you have to sales data also you have to copy so for that also you have to again create a copy data and then only you will do instead of doing that you can generally select the table and location in a runtime only here just you have to pass the table name my table name is product and my location is new one new or new okay if i do okay now my pipeline will run it can give error so we have to wait for that and which error we have to debug it okay as of now it is running perfectly so we have to wait for that so this parameterization is very important in uh, any of the product whenever you are working in real time uh, this kind of the scenario usually comes where we actually pass a parameter instead of doing that now it is successfully run okay means our pipeline is running fine now let's go to the blob storage let's see in a in a new uh, new container whether the data got copied or not and it should be a product data so you, you can see sales cited or product data it has been copied okay now let's try to do again i will come here again i will click on the trigger now and this time which data actually i want to copy i want to copy the customer data okay so now i will pass a customer and in a new one location i want to store click on the ok now the pipeline will again start uh, this should be saved into a new one location into a blob storage ok like that the same the same copy data activity which we can perform multiple times ok so that is how actually it works in a dynamically let's see whether it's working fine or not for the multiple cases it is still running okay now it is succeed now let's try to see uh, whether it's copied or not go to the blob storage go to the blob storage in a new one location the customer information the customer information is now copied so that is how the, uh, the uh, parameterization works hope you like the video